Hello, and welcome back to East 1 and 2. And we will be taking on the Ice Ridge of Noltia. This is actually a fairly accurate representation of the so-called spring weather we've been having around here recently. So it seemed like an appropriate time to uh, do this particular part of uh, the game. Now the Ice Ridge itself isn't especially confusing, though I will seem to explore about every inch of it I can. But this is where the monsters start to really get it in their head that they can hurt you. And hurt you they will. Which is why I'm going to be leaning on the magic button for most of this. Well, most of it, anyway. So, before we actually move past this first area, there's something we really, really need to get. Oh, yes. Note those ramps uh, that uh, don't have any actual steps. We can't walk up those yet. We can slide down them, but we can't go the other way. Okay, this was called the Misty Ice Drops in the other uh, versions. Whoa, whoa, we don't want this guy's attention. Great shooting, me! Oh, there's a dude there! So, see what I mean about, uh, uh, problems? However, we will be forging ahead. In part because you can't actually regenerate here even though this is an outdoor area. You used to be able to in the uh, pre-complete versions, but not anymore. I better do something about those hit points. That'll carry me through maybe a couple more monsters. And this is what we need the blizzard bulb for. Drop it here, make a bridge, let's move on. Yeah, I tend to make piles and piles of saves in uh, East 2 because of how easy it is to die. Now let's zip in here. The Spirit Cape will allow us to regenerate anywhere, much like the Heal Ring in East 1. However, regenerating is pretty slow in East 2, no matter what level you are or how many hit points you have. So if I ever need to do any big regenerations, I'm just going to break the video up and see what, how that looks. Okay, nothing else up here, which means the only way we can go is forward. Now the statues are actually up that ramp, but we can't get to that yet, so we have no idea what we're supposed to be doing here, and that all isn't talking. Well, the little graphical uh, things uh, here uh, that uh, we may not be able to notice because I'm running around and YouTube player size is not all that big. 
is that, you know, when Adol is going through this place, uh, they actually animated uh, his breath coming out in uh, clouds. Okay, magic will never be as broken as it was in the pre-complete version, but this is as... this is fairly close. The Hawk Idol turns our uh, fireballs into homing projectiles. This is very important on a couple of the bosses we'll be facing. This game didn't really need another check to see if you've gotten the fire magic. You couldn't beat the first boss without it anyway. But apparently you get experience for destroying uh, blocks of ice. Not enough to power level off of, but... Okay, altar magic. This allows you to turn into a Rue one of the mascot critters of the East uh, series. Anyway, right, that's items. And talk to monsters. Now, in earlier uh, versions, the pre-complete versions, also, don't call Lily a pretty hands off our women. Now, in pre-complete versions, each monster type had uh, a uh, dialogue, but uh, in East 2 Complete, Every single monster spawn has its own unique dialogue. I won't be showing off all of it, but uh, I'll uh, see what I can do to show off uh, some of the better ones. One of the ones I forgot to show off when I was making this video was uh, one of those monsters says something along the, line, along the lines of, some thief has been going through here and opening up all the chests. Watch out for him. Stone shoes. These are precisely what we need to climb up those ramps. Now the next bit is going to be me wandering around, getting confused, and going around in circles, and whatever all else I can do wrong in this game. But then I remembered, hey! I have the stone shoes. So up here, at, uh, well, apparently that's not the boss door. So we're gonna have to go back and do something about that. As soon as I can figure out how going back actually functions in this game, it takes a while. Sometimes the lack of direction sense gets you. The Ice Ridge of Noltia theme is actually one of the better received ones in the uh, East. However, I do know that some people aren't exactly fans of the uh, Chronicles uh, version. They felt that the original one uh, felt uh, more uh, epic or desperate or, you know, ear-pleasing or whatever. Yeah, glad it makes the distinction between the snowy ones. Hint, there is no distinction. Yeah, I didn't mean to grind uh, on camera because I'm actually looking for a way out. 
However, it will actually work in my favor. The thing about uh, the East games is uh, that uh, one of the most important uh, strategies for facing bosses in the East series is the ability to, uh, to gain levels. Gaining levels is probably one of the best boss strategies you can memorize for the East games. If you're having trouble with a boss, your first recourse is, is um, to gain at least one level if you can. And since I decided that I wasn't going to live through uh, trekking all the way back to Lance Village on foot, well, all the way back to the beginning of the Ice Ridge, which is where I really need to go, There we go. No, no, no. No, use the right magic. In fact, hit the magic button. Thank you. First thing, take a rest. Oh, hey there, where's Lilia? Lilia ran off. Ah! In fact, if what the monster told us was true, she was actually carried off. The adventure has just gotten a little bit more complicated, folks. You're no threat to me, monster. Okay, now that we're back in the first area, there's a rather important item we need to get here. You know, the thing that'll actually allow us to finish this part of the game. As soon as I remember how to get to it, uh, you know, switch to the right magic for fighting and not dying. Okay, this should be the way forward, or a rough approximation thereof. And I was completely wrong, how about that? You know how they uh, say that uh, the uh, to truly call yourself skilled at something, you must have practiced it uh, for 10,000 hours. That's a total lie, apparently, considering uh, how much I've uh, played the East games. And there we go. Now we can finally move forward. After I screw up fighting some more monsters. You know, I'm glad the, uh, that Falcom had the restraint to make an ice level that did not have ice physics. Because I've never felt that ice physics really added much to games other than, uh, you know, time set aside for wall 
for banging your head against a wall. So it's good to encounter a company with uh, some kind of, uh, you know, limits on what kind of crap they're going to throw at the player. So now we just need to truck our way back to the boss store and, you know, see what we can do over there. Oh yeah, statues. Okay. Hmm, reflect. I wonder what I have in my inventory that can reflect things. I know, it's the stone shoes. With those, I can reflect any soccer ball. But yeah, you you probably know what I have for already. No monster left alive. That should about do it. Okay, big door. Regenerate. Off screen. Save game because, like every boss in the uh, East 2, this one can put the hurt on you in a real hurry. Ah, there's the real door. Trying to play a trick on us, aren't you? Oh, well, too bad for, for that. I guess he's not home. Oh, there he is. Tile Moth. Okay, those uh, ice creams can actually put the hurt on you if uh, you get caught in them. However, the real danger is him landing on you, which is more or less instant death. However, if you manage to uh, pick up the Hawk Idol, a totally optional item, he's pretty trivial as you just saw there. Gained a level. Gained his treasure. And now it's actually back to Lance Village for us because we have enough cash to buy the Tier 3 armor. And we're going to need it for the next area. The next area was where East 2 really starts to ramp up the monster of difficulty. And uh, we'll need every little bit uh, that we can get. The thing is, even uh, with all the tier 3 armor we can uh, get from uh, Guido, uh, the uh, monsters do a ton of damage in uh, the uh, place after the ice ridge. So that's probably the space I'm going to be doing the most regenerating in. I've decided this is worth 8,000 gold and no one can gainsay me cause it's my shop.
Well, in any case, uh, that will be it for now. And since we've completed the ice level, there's a fire level next. And I'll be seeing you then on East 2. Bye!